All right, I think we're up. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Nick White here. Um, just uh, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. If you want to check the description, I have everything. Um, I'm doing another leak code video. I have all these uh, leak code videos. I'm doing a series on leak code videos. Uh, we're doing an easy one right now. This one's called DI or uh, yeah, DI uh, string match. Uh, D stands for decreasing. I stands for increasing. Um, it's an easy one. It was pretty easy. Uh, given a string that only contains uh, letters I and D, so it tells you if it's increasing or de decreasing, then you're going to want to return a, an array of integers from 0 to the length of the string. So in the first case, we see we have uh, four letters right here. So length of the string would be 4. So then we're going to have an array. It's going to be one more than the length of uh, the string, right? So the length is 4 here, but the um, array is going to have five elements. Um, so the numbers are going to be corresponded, uh, corresponding to the letters of the string, right? So if we see an I, then the next element in the string is going to be increasing, right? So it would go from 0, and then we see 4, and then we see 1, 3. Because we see decreasing in the second spot, 4 is going to decrease to 1, uh, increase. 1 is going to increase to 3, decrease. 3 is going to decrease to 2, right? Uh, hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying here. Uh, let me know in the comments if you don't understand, but it should. In, if we see increase, 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 it's just going to go 0, 1, 2, 3. Pretty straightforward. Uh, there's just going to be one more element in the output array than there is in the input string. So not too bad. Um, so I didn't really know how to do this at first. It was kind of, uh, I had to like look up how to do it, honestly. Uh, it's not, it wasn't intuitive to me. I guess it should have been, but um, now that I know how it's done, it's pretty straightforward. I wonder if I'm going to see more problems like this in the future, but this is the solution right here. I'm going to run it. Um, I'll show you it works, and then we'll retype it out, uh, and then I'll explain it as we go. So let me, actually, let me explain it, and then I'll type it out. Okay, so 100% of solutions, right? Complete success. Uh, so the size is going to be s dot length. And then we have a low. We basically have a low and high pointer. High pointer is going to be the length of the string. Low is going to be zero, and we're going to have the output array, right? Because we have an integer output array. This is the um, integer output array, and we're going to loop through this string of i and d and check at each letter if we see an i or a d. If we see an i, we're going to make the current element of the array the low, the low pointer, and we're going to increment it at the same time. So. We could just make it low and then just do low plus equals one, just so you guys understand that, um, and it's more clear. Else, we're going to make it high, right? So high is going to start at the top, and that's it's going to work out perfectly every time, luckily. And by the end of it, the low and high will be at the same point, and the output array, um, we're just going to have to set the very last element, because I said there's going to be one more element uh, of integers than the string has of letters, right? So we're gonna, you could set this to low or high. If we set it to low, it's also gonna work. And then you just return the array, right? So um, we can, uh, I could type this out for us again, right? Int size is equal to s.length, right? So we get the length of the string, right? And we're gonna need the array to be bigger, one element bigger, uh, remember that. And then we're gonna have our low pointer is equal to zero. Just like a pointer is always zero and b pointer is always the length of the string. And then int uh, high, you can call these whatever you want, actually, uh, is going to be equal to size. And then we're going to have our int array. So int, uh, I called it output array, call it whatever you want, is equal to new int of size plus one, because there's going to be one more element. Loop through, hopefully you guys are understanding this, to uh, size, uh, just keep incrementing. You could do that, or you could do s.length, you know, loop through however you want. Uh, and then we're going to do s.char at i, if s.char at i is equal to an i, we're going to, and this is why, just so you guys understand, if we see an i, the next element has to be bigger, so we're going to want to put the lowest possible element at that current point in the array, right? So I'll put array of um, i is equal to um, low, right? And then we'll, I'll increment it here, just so you, it's more clear for you guys. Uh, else, you know, the exact op opposite, and we'll decrement i. This is how, like, pointer uh, things work anyway. Usually pointer uh, problems I read are to do with sorted things, so uh, I wasn't, this wasn't intuitive to me. 
and then i gets decremented, right? So, and, um, you know, if we see a decrease, then hot, we put the maximum element in because the next one can't be the maximum. It's got to be less than. That's literally all it is. And then at the end, just because we have that one extra element, we just got to, you know, do output array of size is equal to low or high, whatever you want, because they're going to be the same because high is getting decremented while low is getting incremented. Uh, and then we return the array. And hopefully this works. Uh, pray. You know, Wi-Fi might be a little bit uh, messed up here. I don't know what's going on. Oh no, s dot char at i. Yeah, what's the issue? Oh, you got to make sure when you're doing in Java, you got to have the single quotes for characters. Sorry about that. Okay, it works. Ran perfectly. Perfect. Hundred percent of solutions be. Yes, 100%. Okay, so that was the video. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments if I didn't explain it that well or what improvements, trying to get better. Uh, just started streaming again uh, more consistently. Uh, this semester just started, so uh, I'm doing an algorithms class this semester too, so I'll be like back on streaming a lot more. So thank you guys for watching. Please uh, check me out on Twitch, uh, Matrix Man, and then uh, you know subscribe. Thank you very much. See you guys later.